hi welcome back to my youtube channel and this is another video for our flutter series and in in this video uh, before adding a button to our login screen i want to showcase you the buttons material design documentation so in this documentation we are going to see uh, what material design is offering to us in terms of buttons so for example if we uh, go down we can see that there are two sections design and implementation we are going to see the implementation part later but for first we are going to see the design part so in the design part we can see there is, there is an in interactive uh, demo here so for example if I click on contain so we have some contain button and if we click on this button you can see some ripple effect as well so once we click it a color is basically uh, going through this design so this is basically why we we, we are we were saying that material design is close to realistic materials or realistic things so that's the theory behind material design so uh, if i click on outline button then this will be a button that is uh, that is you know have some border around the uh, button and the inside color is white so if i click on this again this uh, ripple effect is also there and if i click on this text button then this text button is very simple but if i click uh, hover over this then uh, when i click on this button then this all this is also showing some uh, ripple effect so if i click on this leading icon then i we can also add some icon with this uh, with this button and this is very cool another type of the button is the toggle button so for example we can toggle between these and these are called toggle buttons so that's it from the design part now let's go into the implementation part if i click on this implementation part and i can see that there are different options that are available so for example if i click on android now uh, this will show the android related you know coding to us or how to implement this in android but as we are learning and growing in flutter i will choose flutter from here and you can see that this is showing some documentation that tells us that how to implement this button first of all we need to import the material and you must be using the material app and that is already being used in our application so to make a button or to create a button what we can do is that we can use the text button widget inside and text widget button will show a text button simply that's it if you are new on this youtube channel then make sure to subscribe it and hit the bell icon because i will be bringing more and more flutter related videos on this channel so let's see let's look into the implementation of these buttons so we have all four type of buttons for example text button outline button contain button and the toggle buttons first of all let's look at the text button so text button is something that that will show a text button and we have seen the interactive demo before so to implement this we what we can do is that we can use the text button widget and inside the text button widget we have to provide two things first is the on pressed and this is the function that will be called when we, the user will click on this text button and secondly we have the child and the child is providing the text and text is basically taking some string and that will be the label for our text button and if we want to show some icon with the text button what we can use that we can use text button dot icon and in the icon we have the extra property that is the icon and inside icon we can provide the icon widget and inside icon we will see that later and if we want to implement the other type of button then we have again outline for outline button we have the outline button widget and similarly we can provide the icon icon version as well and similarly if we want to implement the contained button we have the elevated button that's uh, that we can use so uh and if we want to provide the toggle button we have the these kind of toggle buttons available but that will be uh, complex for now and we can use that button in an other you know uh, video and we can use that uh, button inside another video and for now i guess we are good to go with the uh, elevated button and outline button for our login screen example so i will go to the visual studio code again and here i will type in uh, elevated button so elevated button 
and you can see that we have the elevated button widget because we have imported the uh, material dot dart file that's why it is automatically suggesting us that we have the elevated button and we can use that to uh, provide the elevated button here and this elevated button is taking two parameters by the way one is the on pressed uh, callback and second is the child so inside the child what we can do is that we can provide a text widget and show some label so i will type text and i can choose from here and inside this text widget i will click uh, i will provide login label and secondly what i will do is that i i can do multiple things i can provide anonymous function here so if i uh, input the uh, parentheses and the curly braces then this will provide the anonymous function this to this uh, on pressed callback and let's see uh, and now let's see what is showing inside our emulator so if i click on this now you can see that a nice login button is showing uh, here that is clickable and uh, but unfortunately nothing is happening if i if i type my username here maybe email here and if i type my password here and if i click on login now nothing is happening I am very sad, but I think we will be able to see a working login screen in future. Uh, so one more thing, I would like to add a uh, add another button that is the sign up button. But for the sign up button, I will use the outlined button widget from the material uh, component. So to provide that, uh, what I will do is that I will add another button here. But by the way, to format the code, I, I have just inserted another comma here after this and if i press the control s button you can see that the code is formatted and to add another button after this elevated button i will input another comma and after that i will type outlined button here and for outline button i will type again the outline button is taking two parameters first is the on pressed and second is the child so again i what i will do is that i will uh, basically insert another anonymous function for this on press callback and for child i will type text and in the, inside this text uh, widget i will provide the uh, sign up inside double code so by the way if, if we want to provide out uh, input to the text widget we need to provide it in the uh, double quotes or single quote so uh, i will write this i will press the control s button and to format this code i will put the comma here so we have the elevated button we have the uh, outline button and you can see the output of this uh, code inside this android application but this is not looking good i think the sign up button should be in front of the login button and that way we will be able to make it more interesting so uh how we can achieve this so in the next video we are going to see how we can show this login and sign up button inside a row that's it from this video and if you have any questions then make sure to write your query in the comment section below because i check out each comment and reply to everyone